people, Cindy here. We are in Greenhouse One and I've got my giant squash behind me and it's its 30th birthday. If you're new to growing giant pumpkins or giant squash, then you've probably been online and you've seen some weird acronyms that have you confused like, um, my pumpkin is 20 DAP. What does that mean? Um, the OTT is 250. What does that mean? I'm here to explain that to you today. Measuring your giant pumpkin is one of the most fun things you can do. Um, from the time they're 20 days old and beyond, I measure twice a week, every Wednesday and every Sunday. Um, 20 days after pollination, that's what the 20 DAP stands for, days after pollination, that's when things really start happening. And then between day 20 and 30, they're really cooking. And when they hit day 30, that's when their peak growth phase starts and they are full tilt buggy off to the races. And so today, I'm going to teach you how to measure your pumpkin. Um, I have got all, I've got even more in my house, little notebooks full of measurements from all my pumpkins and squash through the years. One thing I love to do, I spend way too many hours uh, comparing my pumpkins progress to my best pumpkins of previous years and that's a lot of fun. There's one thing I want to warn you about though. While it's really cool to compare to your previous years, don't get too hung up on how other people are doing this year um, or previous years with their pumpkins. You can't really compare your pumpkins to their pumpkins, um, you know, unless you're from the same locale, then maybe you can do it. But even then, I caution you against it. Every year for my first few, few years of growing, I would get uh, really sad when I would hear about the big ones growing back east and they were the same age as mine and why aren't mine that big and I'm just, I might as well give up now. But no, we've got a totally different trajectory of growth here in the Pacific Northwest. It took me a few years to embrace that, that we've got a long flat trajectory of growth. Um, we don't have the warm nights, we don't have the humidity. And so it's just different growing conditions are going to produce different growing results. We'll catch them in the end. Um, and so don't get too hung up on anyone else's numbers. Just run your own race. All right, that's my number one piece of advice. Uh, do measure your own pumpkin do measure it with some regularity because that's going to help inform you what's working in your patch. If your pumpkin just stops growing or stop, starts lagging, maybe you need to do something uh, in your patch to kickstart it back up again. Um, conversely, if your pumpkin is growing like gangbusters, keep doing what you're doing. And so it's a very informative thing to do. You don't need to measure as often as I do, but I enjoy life. I want to be happy and measuring my pumpkins <laughs> makes me happy. Uh, so every Wednesday and Sunday, I'm usually at my happiest. So um, OTT, when you see that acronym, that stands for over the top. There's a way we measure these pumpkins with really long measuring tapes and we go over the top. So um, when you see a number like 250 OTT, that is a combination of certain measurements. Let's talk about it right now. This is my squash right here, 30 days after pollination today. Um, I've named this one Nepali, and uh, it's named after the sea cliffs in Kauai that are towering and lush and green, and they're just bigger than you can even imagine, and that's how I hope Nepali will be. I hope that this will be the biggest squash in the world for 2023 and the new world record. Fingers crossed. Okay, so day 30, super important that I measure all mine on day 30 because then I like to compare how my current day 30 is to some of my past performers on day 30. So I need a few things. I need my 
notebook and a pen and a super long measuring tape. This measuring tape I got from Hobby Lobby and it go it's like a quilter's measuring tape. It's super long and it goes in inches. You, I don't like using one that has feet because it's harder to convert. I don't, it's summer break. I don't want to do the math. So this one's got inches and then because I grow kind of big pumpkins, I had to attach more. So it goes to 144 inches and then I attached um, 60 more inches to it because if you grow a really big one, you're going to need that. All right. On the OTT, your first measurement you're going to take is the circumference. You're going to go all the way around your pumpkin or squash on the widest area possible. So you're going to make sure that your measuring tape is parallel with the ground. I will show you how I do that. So I'm going to find the end here, zero, and I'm going to find the widest part of Nepali and right over here the widest part and I'm going to stretch it tight and I'm making sure it's parallel with the ground totally level and we've got 112 inches so I write that down with today's date 112 okay that's the first one we're gonna do three Second one on the over the top is we're going to go over the top from side to side. So first one circumference, second one side to side. So I'm going to find the highest point, which is right here. I'm going to take my zero while I hold it on that high point and go straight down. And I'm, it's touching the ground down there. And then I'm going to go straight down this way from side to side and 75 inches. So I write that down, 112, 75. Now the third measurement we take in the OTT is um, end to end. And so I always like to measure the end to end in the same spot every time. And so on this particular squash, I measure right here on this nice hump. And you want to get tape pretty close to the stem end and the blossom end. Okay, so I'm going to go straight from the stem and ground to the blossom end, straight down to the ground, and I get 71 inches. Okay, then what you're going to do is you're going to add those three up. 112 circumference plus the 75 side to side plus the 71 end to end and that equals 258 inches so it's day 30 OTT is 258 what does that mean well the reason why we measure the OTT is because we've got this handy dandy estimation chart here. You can find this on the GPC website, www.gpc1.org. And I can look up what 258 inches will estimate out at as a weight. 396 pounds. Pretty good. We're about 400 pounds on day 30. Not bad at all. And so I'm going to tonight look in all of my pumpkin notebooks and see if I'm bigger. I think I am. I think I'm bigger than anything I've ever had on day 30. Um, so that's good. So then the other thing we can do, because I measured this a couple days ago, two days ago, it was 323 pounds as its estimated weight. Today, it's 396. So I took the difference of that 396 minus 323 divided that by 2 and that told me what the daily gains were so right now on day 30 um, over the last two days day 20 or 29 and 30 
it was gaining 36 and a half pounds a day. That's pretty good. It's going to really start taking off from here. And so I'm so excited. Um, so that's all you do. You measure the circumference, keeping parallel. You measure side to side, ground to the ground over the top of the pumpkin, and then end to the end. All right, you guys, I hope you learned something new about measuring giant pumpkins. Um, get out there and get yourself a measuring tape and start measuring. You are going to have so much fun. If this is your first year growing, your mind is going to be blown uh, once they should start their peak growth phase around day 30. So um, have fun, and I hope you have a personal best this year.